morning. Good Wednesday morning. It is your weekly reminder of what day of the week it is. And today is Wednesday, uh, November 11th, 2020. It's also Veterans Day. So uh, to any veterans out there watching this morning or whenever you're watching, uh, I do thank you for your service. I'm Brian. I'm the pastor at Christ United Methodist Church here in Waynesboro. Um, and uh, thank you for joining in on our midweek devotional in prayer time. Today I'm coming to you from uh, from my office at the church. Uh, some some of my books and whatnot behind me. My uh, flamingo sitting on the shelf. That kind of stuff. Um, just uh, just for a little bit of a different view this morning. Um, my life moves from uh, place to place. Didn't want you to think I was always sitting at home. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, but yeah, thank you. It is Wednesday morning. If you're joining me live, as I see some folks are, that's great. And if you're joining me some other time, that's also uh, quite wonderful. We thank you for taking the time to do that, to, uh, to spend some time with us, uh, just to listen to what I might have to say today. Before I get to uh, the devotional, the prayer, I'm just going to mention a couple things to you this morning, a couple announcements. Uh, this, this, and we'll start with worship, because that's I think that's a good place to start. Um, worship on Sunday morning, yes, we are in person at 8.15 and 10.45 at our campus here on uh, Church Street in Waynesboro. And you're more than welcome to join us for either of those services. Just remind you that we uh, we do have some guidelines. Uh, we are following the recommendations of CDC and the state, as at least as best we can. We think quite faithfully. Um, the biggest of those is masks. We do request a, a, a face covering. Um, a face shield is acceptable if a mask is uh, if if you can't wear a mask for breathing reasons. Uh, we do prefer the mask, and as does the CDC. They feel that that does work better. Um, but So please keep that in mind. We are also doing safe distancing, especially in the sanctuary, when during the worship experience. Uh, try not to cluster. We ask people to sit apart from each other, unless you're in a family group. And if you happen to feel a tap on your shoulder and one of the ushers asks you to, to move, please don't be insulted. We're just they're just doing their job to try to keep everyone safe. So we thank you for that. And uh, actually, they've only had to do that a couple times over the several months that we've been in, been in, uh, been under these guidelines. So that was good. That's good. So we thank everyone for following those guidelines. The other thing I would add to that or mention is when the worship experience is over, uh, we ask that you not congregate in the in the little hall, the, the Frank Hall outside of the sanctuary. Uh, that you don't congregate in the sanctuary either, but kind of make your way out through the doors. And there are only a couple doors that we're using uh, for coming in or for going out. Now, if you're not comfortable coming to to worship in person, I get that. I get that. Also, um, if you're not feeling well, we ask you to please not come in person to worship. But for either of those cases or for any other reason, you can you can join us right here on Facebook for the 1045 worship experience. We don't live stream both services, but we do live stream that one. Um, and uh, appreciate everybody that has been joining in uh, through the uh, through the online experience. It's been wonderful. We appreciate that. Uh, this week will be the second week in our series, It's About Time. And uh, this week, we're going to be talking about Sabbath and what Sabbath really means, what we might think it means versus what it what it truly means, um, and I, I think that'll be—I uh, think that'll be helpful. I also think it might be a little bit eye-opening or surprising to you, um, to uh, to what to what it means and what you can do to truly experience Sabbath. Um, and then the following week will be our our last week, and it's a rhythm of peace, finding a rhythm of peace in this busy, hectic, chaotic world, and and what that looks like. But back to this week. Um, now, the missions team met last night, and uh, so we've got a lot of stuff to talk about with missions. But I'm not going to do that here. I'm kind of I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> it's a little bit of a teaser. Join us on Sunday um, for uh, 
for worship and uh, during <coughs> excuse me during what would traditionally be the offering time when we would pass the plates which by the way we don't do um, we'll be uh, we'll be sharing a moment or two of mi of of missions letting you know how we've been uh, how the missions team has been spending some of your money that you've been been so kind and so generous in sharing uh, in, in trying to help others and to to truly be the, the hands and feet of Christ um, missions is, is is something I'm passionate about um, and I think you've probably gotten to know that already and uh, I based on the contributions that we get from folks I, I think missions is an important thing to to a lot of you so so that's great that's great thank you um, since I'm talking a little bit about offering and donations you can always check out our website uh, umcchrist.org and uh, on there is a page uh, called ways to ways to give and you can see how you can do that even if you're not if you know if you don't come in person there are still ways to uh, financially support the ministries of Christ UMC. You can also scroll around here on our Facebook page uh, and uh, you'll, you'll find the link there as well. Uh, I think that's about it for announcements. Yeah, that's good enough for this week. So today's verse of the day that I got on my, uh, on my phone app this morning is from Matthew. It's Matthew 18, uh, verse 20. <clears throat> Excuse me little bit of a tickle this morning. I, I, uh, I think it's the cream in my coffee. <laughs> but Matthew 18, 20, for where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there with them. That's Matthew 18, 20, and that's from the Common English Bible Translation. That's the one I'm using today. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there with them. I'm there with them. It's a great passage. It's a great, a great passage. This passage, that, that verse, has, has come to be taken as um, a, an understanding of, of, of one of the reasons for, for gathering together for worship. Uh, and it, it speaks that Jesus, it's Jesus saying that when, when you get together to worship, when, in whatever form that might look like, whether it's in person or through Facebook live streaming, uh, Jesus says, I'm there with you. I'm there with you. Now, we shouldn't misunderstand that that verse, though, too, because although that's the common understanding of that passage, and it's partially correct, some folks might think that, well, does that mean that Jesus isn't with me if I'm not with somebody else? What about when I'm praying by myself? Jesus isn't there? Well, no, 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 that's not what Jesus meant. That's not what Jesus meant, and that's certainly not what I would say. I think we can understand that passage from a couple different points. Now, if we do understand it uh, as Jesus saying that when we're gathered together, he's with us, which I do believe, I, I think we need to qualify it and say that he, he's with us in, in a more real way, in, in a more, perhaps a more powerful way when we're together than when we're by ourselves. It, however, it does not negate the fact that Jesus is with us even when we're alone, and sometimes quite powerfully. But it's the fact that when we're gathered together, we can feel it in a different way. And Jesus is present in a different way. The other thing I would say about this passage is you, sh you should probably go and, and read the whole chapter, or, or at least the like eight verses that come before this or whatever, to fully understand what Jesus is talking about. Because what he, what he really means, he, he's not talking about gathering together in a church or, or even in a home or, or online or, or anything like that. What he's talking about is when, when two or three Christians, he says, gather, but agree. He's talking about the power that, that we have as believers. The power that we have as, as his disciples when we agree on things, and when we come together in, in prayer about something, not even the gates of hell can withstand it. When we agree, I think that's a message that, 
well, not not only us as we're sitting here watching this, uh, looking at our screens, but that's a message that we need to hear across the nation and across the world. When we agree and come before the Lord, not even the gates of hell can withstand it. Well, let's have a moment of prayer. Good morning, God. We give you thanks for, for this day. And yes, it is Veterans Day. And so we thank you for all those who, who have served uh, in the various branches of, of the armed forces to, to protect others, um, to keep our, our freedoms and to keep people safe. Uh, at the same time, we, we, we regret the fact that their, their sacrifices were necessary um, due to our sins, due to our inability to agree with each other, due to our desire for more. Help us, God, to do a better job of that, to do, as Jesus said, to, to, to agree, to come together before you. And that's where we will truly find him. And that's where we will experience the, the amazing power that you have and that you give to us. We just ask that you'll help us do a little bit better job of that today than we did yesterday. And it is in your son Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, thank you, sisters and brothers, for joining me and uh, for giving of your time to, uh, to listen and to watch. And I pray that these words will, uh, will inspire you and uh, help you through your day. See you on Sunday.